What up, everybody? Little Fox back here. Kind of chilled out in front of the fish tank for a minute. Watch him eat. Uh, kind of figured I'd do a video today. Feeling kind of good. Sun's out. It's uh, still cold as fuck outside. But uh, it looks warm. So, since it's been so cold inside, um, I've been doing some just kind of hobby kind of stuff. And work. And work. And... So, um, one of the things I've been doing is building model rockets. I kind of started, man, it was uh, mid last year, something like that. And uh, I've been having fun building some model rockets. So, I'll show you some of those. And then I also, um, I went to use the, the factory Estes, or Estes, however you pronounce it, uh, their launch controller, and I didn't really like it. So, I went ahead and just built and designed my own so I'll show you that one too I'll probably do a, a separate video for that one just kind of give a, a DIY of how I did it um, I shared it in a rocket group that I'm in and everybody seemed to like it and want to know more or where to buy so I'll uh, I'll show you something on that and we'll uh, make a whole day of it well no not really we'll make like maybe five ten minutes of it hopefully maybe 15 20 we'll see So this B said rocket collection that I was talking about, and you're probably thinking, man, you say you just started last last year sometime? Man, you must have no fucking life. And in response to that, fuck you, for one, and for two, yeah, fuck you for being right. Um but yeah, like how cool, right? So, you know, each one takes usually a couple hours or so to um, to build and then paint usually is probably about the same. Um, you can see, all right, so on the left there, uh, those are actually two rockets, not four, uh, but they're six foot tall, so they don't fit in that little cubby space where I can display them. And I gotta find a better place for my boat there. The poor boat's getting pushed to the back, but, um, but yeah, those are like six foot six or something. I had one as a kid that was all black. So, you know, I had to buy one in all black, but I kind of wanted to paint one nice looking. So I, you know, had to buy two. And then uh, the big daddy, big gold daddy, I actually put a little uh, gold plaque on it or whatever. Like, I mean, it was like the tiniest flake of gold, but it's real gold. Uh, and then, um, I don't know, just some other ones here. And then you see the SR-70, uh, what is it, the SR-72 Dark Bird in the center. Uh, what a stupid name, but okay. Like, why not? Uh, I guess somebody else probably had the rocket rights to it, whatever. Um, and it is a little different, whatever, all right. So, uh, um, and then my trebuchet on the far right there. Um, most of them are Estes. There's two of them up there that are from, what is it, Rocketum or something? Um, and one, they're like gray and, um, orange one is just some generic one. It was real cheap and it looked kind of cool. Um, the Saturn V, I was kind of disappointed with, like, I mean, it's a nice model and everything, but it's plastic. And I was expecting you to get to actually be able to build it, like, out of balsa wood and all that, like the rest of them. Oh man, I'm like, it's like I'm drunk and falling forward or something, like keep getting further and further forward. But all right, but uh, yeah, that's the ones I have up there. Um, I have a couple more that I'm building, but they're you still in paint. Uh, one's pretty cool. And then uh, once the weather starts getting warmer out there and the wind dies down, I got a fun project that I'm gonna do with them. Um, so next I'll show you uh, the launch controller and then later I'll do a video on that guy. You know what, I'm gonna try doing this in front of the fish tank here. I don't know if you guys like the backdrop, but I love it. So, um, we'll see how this goes here. Like, who knows if I'm in frame or not, but uh, this be said launch controller. I did get um, just the box itself off of uh, Thingiverse. 
and then to open it up, we have wiring and stuff here that uh, goes out to said rocket. And then I wired it up so when you put the switch in, turn it on, powers up. Then, like I say, if you hit the button now, nothing happens. Well, I guess I can tilt it forward. Well, well I can tilt it so far forward. And then gravity kicks in. All right, so then uh, you flip the cover up, flip your toggle switch up, and then you get a confirmation light that, you know, that circuit's working. Then you can hit your other circuit and you can fire both at the same time or separately. Pretty happy with how it turned out, honestly. So, like I said, I'll do uh, another video when I can do it on the bench or something. Um, give it a little bit more time, but it's too cold out there to work right now. I don't feel like running the heater, so y'all have to wait on that one. But I guess that's probably all for today. Have a good one, everybody.